Guys, what's up? We're back on the road again. We're on our way to UTV Speed. Uh, I got a light bar here. The Baja Design is linkable that I got to give to them so they can bolt on to their cage uh, so they can weld the tabs. Also, I'm going to uh, Pacific Finish Powder Coating. That's where I do all my powder coating. Um, they're the best. They're affordable and they always do good work. So Armando is going to hook it up with some more powder coating on a bunch of parts that I have on the back of the bed of my truck. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue the day. I got to go back to work, kick some ass at work. And then when I go home, um, I'm probably going to do the front suspension on that 2 seat Tanx 3. I got to get that done. Uh, that way when the radio joints get here on Wednesday, I can finish the rear suspension. And then these guys should have hopefully have the cage ready very soon. Uh, and then we can move forward with uh, finishing up uh, that car. So uh, I'm excited because that car is really, really badass. Uh, the color scheme, I've always loved the tan and black, but that freaking color scheme on the radius rods and HR arms just looks so, so freaking fresh. It's fresh, it's clean. Uh, not only that, we got a spare tire carrier that I would love to show you that's at the powder coaters as well. That is being done right now. And that one's made by New West Fab. He doesn't have a lot of parts on his site, but the parts that he does make, and mainly that spare tire carrier, is really, really badass. Like he does some really clean welding. Um, so that one, I'm gonna put on that machine. So he's gonna have a spare tire, 35 inch, uh, so on and so forth. Let's get to the action and see what's going on here at UTV Speed. By the way, I had to re-record this intro because it actually started with a freaking rock hitting my windshield and I was super pissed and I started started using, using some cuss words. A lot of quacks in that original intro. So. Motherfucker. 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 There's a powder coin booth. Check that red out, dude. Sheesh. That's a badass red. Can I open them up? Let's see what we got. Dude. Oh, maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't touch. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't do that. This car is badass. 2C X3. I really like this one because of the long the long travel that it has. This is a Lone Star. That looks freaking sick. Plus three on this Lone Star. This thing is super wide. I think it's plus three. It's hard to tell, but these do look a lot longer. And they are running uniballs on the ends. It's like that race quality type of stuff. I'm pretty sure he's selling this car. Um, don't quote me on that, but if you guys are interested in this two seat, I bet you, I bet you they'll sell it. So contact uh, Leonard over at UTV Speed. We got some Pro XP cages. Razor XP. Pretty cool. Another X3 cage, yeah. They're all for sale. They're all for sale? Well, not the orange one. That's John's dad. That gray one? Yeah. The gray one, the, the, that's a brand new Turbo R. Brand, brand new with like five miles on it maybe. Or just a photo shoot. How much you? Uh, probably like 55. 55 and about the middle one. 55, 55. 55 or best offer? Uh, 54, right? <laughs> that's not negotiable. All right, Leonard just told me that this Turbo R is for sale and the X3 is for sale. Both of them for 55. Well, each is 55, not both are 55, but that's actually a pretty good deal considering the amount of work that's already done to them, like the full suspension. This one appears to be painted, uh, full windshield, this crazy uh, two-tone seats, and then the Turbo R, very similar with the two-tone seats, and full doors, full paint job, I think. Is this paint too? Paint, paint. Uh, no, that's original plastic. Oh, I, I ordered these off of a Pro R. Oh, you just powder coated ours. Yeah. Powder coated doors. I ordered these off of Pro R, just to. Because um, it come just, kind. Because yeah, it come painted. It was an ugly blue. The suspension was ugly green. And look at them fatty whips. Could all be yours for the low price of fifty five. <laughs> all right, later. See ya. Uh, there's a X3 cage out here out front. Maybe we'll check it out. It's four seat. Uh, that might be the one that's going on my buddy's or my buddy's my customer's machine. So let's check it out real quick. This is it. This is for my customer. And they have it ready, already welded up. They just gotta put the tabs on it. Boom for the light bar. Powder coated black, and I think they gotta do the uh, rear chase light for the rear. Um, but overall, pretty good. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So for most part, when you guys are ordering cages, 
Uh, the most common material for cages is DOM tubing. Uh, it's super strong. I have DOM on my TMW cage. Uh, UTV Speed, for the majority, they use uh, DOM. I'm not sure if UTV Speed offers chromoly. Um, but most manufacturers do like for example geyser only offers chromoly tmw it's an option if you want to get chromoly uh, it's also an option if you want a tig weld or if you want a tig welded cage uh, for the most part all manufacturers are using dom and they're doing mig to save cost because um you know tig is a lot more uh, time consuming as well as the chromoly is a lot more expensive uh the advantages of chromoly lightweight and very strong so um, either will do the job. If you're racing, you're probably gonna go after Chromali. If you're not racing, DOM is all day, every day, a great option. Uh, let's go to Pacific Finish to see what we got going on over there. If you guys want a cage to be made, to get picked up, to get sent to the power coder, to get everything done for you, um, hit me up because I do offer UTV Speed now as a cage manufacturer, as well as SF Raceworks, Geyser, and TMW. So um, I actually just ordered a TMW gauge cage today for another customer with a Pro R. Um, but yeah, all four of them is, are probably my top choices and I'm lucky enough to be able to sell their products. So thank you to those freaking brands, man. Let's see what we got today, huh? Come on, Armando. I know you got some shit ready for me. Que paso, amigo? I got more parts for you. Okay. Is that okay? Sounds good. Thank <laughs> you. Otro cage? Yes. Like oh, that's the chrome one. They did one. I will paint it. Sandblast right now. Oh, it's a sandblaster. Yeah. Le le fal le falta. Okay. This is actually uh, CJ's son's uh, Pro Razor 200. Uh, they're doing it in chrome, which is not real chrome it's, it's powder coat but it looks really really good i'll show you guys on the wheel right over there uh, i came to drop off some more parts and um dude the man right here armando and this is the chrome check it out honestly to me it looks like a high polished aluminum like a lot of the gm wheels that would come on the trucks back in the days would be high polished aluminum and then they're clear coated so it has that aluminum kind of look but it looks really damn good and that's what that Razor 200 is going to be and I can't wait to show you guys that Razor 200 because they did a bunch of cool stuff like full custom doors and like paneling with nets I think it's going to be badass it's going to be a lot more race orientated than uh, the Razor 200 that I got for my girls but um, CJ probably wants to put the boy into racing so that'll be pretty cool alright so in that candy red for that SF Raceworks 4 seat we're going to do uh, the CT excuse me the CA Tech um, full suspension and then TMW bumper, uh, CA Tech for the Gusset Kid Shock Tower Brace. Um, the lower arm is going to stay black, but I think it's going to look really dope. So, uh, yeah. My mom's going to kick ass on this one, too. Hey, if you guys need powder corn, I already told you guys. It's in the description. Uh, check them out. They always have the best work. Like, I've used other powder coats in the past, and you have uneven powder coating. All right, we just left Pacific Finish. I got to go back to work, and then I'll bring you guys with me back home, and we'll knock out that front suspension. So, uh, let's get to it. Hey, babe, what do you think about this new shirt? What do you guys think about the new shirt? So this shirt is not available on the website. We're playing around with ideas and I got the idea for the top G shirt on the back. I think it's a cool design. Let me know what you guys think and we'll put it into production. Speaking of shirts, we now have the No Pasa Nada shirt. It's available for pre-order. They're being made right now. So if you guys want to get one of those shirts, now's the time to do it. There'll be a link in the description as well as the first comment on this video. I'll pin it. Check out what I got here. We just picked this up. I had pre-ordered this about three weeks ago. Hey, dude, what are you licking me for? Here on the floor, we got something new that we just picked up. I ordered this about, uh, I want to say three weeks ago. This is a Harbor Freight Badlands Jack. And yes, I know. Now, I bought this three weeks ago. I bought that Pro Eagle about a month ago way before or way after this was announced but i wanted to get both honestly i support pro eagle we sell pro eagle but i'd be lying if i said i didn't have my eyes on the badlands jack maybe in the future we could do some comparisons but for now i'm just going to reassemble this guy and do a quick side by side all right can you see me uh off the bat these things look identical to the pro eagle ones i know a lot of guys have said <sighs> they ripped off pro eagle and I ain't gonna disagree, and I ain't gonna argue. 
At the end of the day, Jack's a Jack. I don't know. You guys give me your opinions on what you think about the Pro Eagle Jack and the Harbor Freight Jack. And is one worth it versus the other one? Or is one better quality? Or if you have any of these, let me know in the comment section down below. But we'll start taking apart. Um, right off the bat, something I did notice is the, um, the size, the diameter of the, what do you call this? The top puck that you jack up with is a lot smaller. Um, I lower this one, but it's on the car right now. Uh, it's a lot smaller. Not sure if that's good or a bad thing. I guess that will uh, show its face uh, as I use it. But one thing I did notice, the wheels are identical, basically. And this guy here. So I'm not gonna do a full comparison, but I do want to say a couple things that I just noticed that the uh, extension you actually have to bolt on with these Allens. You see, it's got holes on there. Versus the uh, PR, or excuse me, the Pro Eagle one, it just kind of locks into place. You put it on there, and then you rotate it. I don't know, a couple degrees there, and, and it kind of locks into place. That I really do like because I can take that off, and I can put uh, a hitch ball. Yeah, hitch ball receiver, whatever. And I can move them around on my trailer and I won't be able to do that with this uh, Pro Eagle Or excuse me, I won't be able to do it with the Badlands Jack So that feature is nice on the Pro Eagle Jack and that's something you can't really do with the Harbor Freight one Because the uh, this guy is a lot smaller and it won't work on this and I don't think Harbor Freight offers that option So that kind of blows uh, but still great Jack. It's gonna have uh, plenty of use here in the garage and I'll put this back together uh, I do like that they give you the Allen to put this on and they do give you a little slot to put it in so i guess you could call that a feature it's pretty cool it's got like a little spring here that keeps tension on it see that and then on the other side it's got this knob here what it's for i'm not too sure i haven't played around with it yet uh it's got a grab handle just like the pro eagle it's also got a uh, a place to put the extension in the back very similar to the pro eagle honestly they're very very similar same aluminum construction the uh, Badlands Jack comes with these nuts, nylocks, that hold the wheels. And uh, Pro Eagle is just using some C-clips, which, I mean, doesn't really matter, I guess. There's no real side load. But anyways, I'm going to go get to work on the Canon X3. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. All right, guys. A full build wouldn't be complete without a set of A-arm from HCR. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling these off. These are the OEMs. Nothing wrong with them. The bumper's a little bent. But that's okay, we got a new one going on. Uh, we're gonna pour everything off, clean it up, clean up the grease. Gusset kit's staying on, high quality gusset kit from CT Raceworks. We do not sell CT Raceworks, but they are a high quality brand. And I would never talk crap about them because they make some good stuff. If you want an equivalent to this, you would buy the TMW gusset kit. We have those on the website. Now let's knock this thing out. Uh, we got tie rods, we got A-arms, we got a shock tower brace, new bumper. Let's get it done. Come on. Also, we got new ball joints from Keller. We have these on the website. This is a high quality ball joint. Well respected if you jump on any of the Facebook groups. The brand has been around for a while. They came up with this design and they are a high quality product. Another brand that we have on the website is LMUTV. Those are the ball joints that I run and they've been great on my machine. And one more for you guys. We just recently got this company. It's CA Tech out of Tennessee, I think. I don't know. They're back east. They make awesome products. They make some heavy-duty A-arms themselves. Let me just show you those real quick. Now, these things are girthy. The one was short. Girthy. I don't know if that's the right word, but they are huge. They are heavier than the HCRs, and I'm going to put these in a different category when it comes to strength and how you would use them. Um, and the reason I have mentioned that after I said ball joints is because they also offer their own ball joints. Those are awesome. Same style as the Alamu TV and Keller's. They're adjustable. Uh, but back to the arms, they are pretty heavy. So if you are back east in your mudding or your, um, you know, one of them rock bouncer type dudes, those are probably the arms for you. If you are desert riding, fast paced desert, trying to get the most out of your machine while keeping it lightweight, I'd probably still stick with HCRs. But then again, you can't go wrong, man. These things are so heavily, heavily built and also internally gusseted like the HCRs. 
Uh, check them out on the website, and they actually have a little bit more arc to them when it comes to the uh, ground clearance of the arm. You can also tell because they actually make a relief cut for the axle, so they got a pretty steep uh, angle. Would you hurry up? Let's jump on it. I'm going to get this thing torn apart and put back together with some of the best parts in the industry. Let's do it right now. <laughs> Guys, if you want to get a grease for your X3, suspension pivot points, the trailer, Red and Tacky, not sponsored, but this is some good stuff. It doesn't uh, get oily and start leaking. It's a really good grease. I highly, um, I highly recommend it for boats, trailers. It's like marine grade. Good stuff. Lucas, Red and Tacky. <laughs> What a jackass. Before I put the shocks on, I wanted to uh, do the stuff that's easier to get to with the shocks off, like installing the brake lines. Uh, I went ahead and started doing the shock tower brace, but my smart butt uh, put the bolts on, you know, so they wouldn't get lost. I would just put them back in there. And now I can't get them out. <laughs> what a dummy, man. I said in the last video, thank God it's no longer raining. And look at everything's wet. It's raining again. God damn it. A day is in the past. What could I have make you last? The sleepless nights bring dreams of you. By the way, if you guys want to support even more, we do have a Patreon. I don't have a lot of Patreons helping me out, and that's okay. Uh, you guys buying parts on the website is a huge, huge uh, plus for the channel. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to do the extra mile, we do have a Patreon. Or on this YouTube channel, right next to the subscribe button, there's a join button. And what that is, it's pretty much subscription based. You get charged monthly. Uh, it could be as little as four bucks, I think, or five bucks. And then there's a higher subscription for like $9 or something. Uh, it's very minimal, but it does make a difference when there's a lot of you guys doing it. So if you guys want to subscribe to that, great. If not, that's fine. Really, if you guys can help in that way, you know what really helps? Liking this video and commenting and sharing, you know, your experiences and your thoughts and your your parts that you use and, and, and so on and so forth. I want to build a community with you guys of, uh, well, basically, you know, trial and error. The average Joe garage dude, which is what I am, so... Thank you guys. Woo. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, I'm still awake. And it's 2.29. I just installed the TMW doors. Both sides. I got the fenders in here. I was going to start installing the fenders, but then I realized probably just wait until after I do the cage but those are on there front is complete just waiting for plastics or I got the plastics 
but I can't put them on until the cage is on. I'm gonna go sleep. This is overtime for you guys, showing you what I got going on. Uh, yeah, the doors look sick. Let me open one up so you can see the uh, full complete package here. I left the door frames, or excuse me, I left the door skins alone. I powder coated the door frames in the same tan as the car. And as you can see, these door bags look sick. And what the heck is up with this paint right here? Let me clean that up. Absolutely wicked. I can't wait till this car is done. He's going to love it. The only thing, the only thing out of everything, this machine is going to be missing is a good electronic system. Because all the, uh, all the wiring, as you can see, that was done by a previous shop yeah so not very clean i'd love to do a switch pros on this and clean it up for him but um we'll we'll let him know about that after so looking good so far i love it good night for reals this time